I promise to love and to hold you in sickness and in health till death do us part. You won her heart, little by little, leering her in. Like a little bird caught in a trap, she flew right in. Oblivious, walking down that aisle unknowing of what was to come. She had dreams, aspirations, things she wanted to do with her life. He said he loved her independence, but it was a lie, all of it. Just part of his scheme. But she loved him. He wasn't always this way. Maybe it would get better. But it never did. problem is getting out. She tried forgetting, she tried to sacrifice her freedom for his satisfaction, to keep him happy, letting go of who she was, letting go of her dreams, her friends, her dignity. She felt life falling through her fingers, slipping away. Things became lifeless, dead, buried. A grave set up like a monument of things that could have been. The cage that she's locked in. It hurts the most when the person who made you feel so special yesterday makes you feel so unwanted today. She tried to escape. She tried to get rid of the anxiety. The fear. The weakness. Even when she stops crying. Even when she falls asleep and she's nestled in his arms. This will leave another scar. No one will see it. No one will know. But it will be there. And eventually, the scars will have scars until she's nothing but a scar. So where does she go?
where does she find herself then? I will change. Please just come back and don't leave me. Please. I want you to stay. She has nowhere to go. Or so she believes. So she returns. Even if she knows that it's not safe there, she returns, but not as herself. She returns as an empty shell. Again. And again. And again. And again. In blind obedience, the bird returns to its cage as though she was taught to stay. Dear reader, I'm writing this book because I cannot keep silent anymore. How many more are they? Thank you for watching your turn. I am Hilary Leong from ACT Africa. If you are a victim of gender-based violence or know of anyone else who is, please do contact us. Thank you.